Hi there, hi guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you are new, welcome to the family. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, um, welcome back. Where have you been? Um, and for those who keep on viewing my videos guys thank you so much it means a lot to us don't forget to subscribe um click that red subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you do not miss a video when i upload a new one and so today guys we're doing episode uh seven seven yeah mm, we've come a long way hey episode seven of uh my black gay experience today i'll be talking about a, a shocking discovery to me that I made about the, uh, the LGBTQI plus community. Mm, I found out that uh, there are places in this thing because I once was in a an experience. So I'll be talking about places and the gay factory, the gay naked club that I find out about. So the first thing I'm talking about is places. Okay. Uh, the other day, um, my friend told told me about this um, old, uh, old guy, he, he, old enough to be my father in his uh, early forties, um, that hated on he he hit on my friend. So, oh, they met on Facebook and wara 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 wara. I'm not too going to elaborate more on his on his story. So what happened is that that very same guy approached me and. I didn't know that he was an older guy when he approached because there was no profile picture. It was more like more of a blind date. So when I was talking to him on Facebook, I didn't know that he was an older guy. So we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk, and then um we decided to meet. And then when we met, to my disappointment, guys, I was like. When he was telling me we were talking and then I was telling him what I'm wearing and where he was standing and then when I come and I approach him and say such an older guy and I was so shocked, I was so amazed, like is this really happening? Like what is an old guy? Because he saw my profile picture that I'm young, he's old enough to be my father. So like what what the fuck? So then I was Hey. So then I say, are you are you so and so? And then he says yes. And I was like, geez, but you're old enough to be my father. He say, yeah, I know. And so I asked him, so if you know, like, why? Like, what's happening? Why are you being involved with such young people? Like, I'm sure they are. Your mates are there again. The older key guys could have gone for them. Like, why us? Why Ben Tams? Because, <laughs> yeah, it was more like sort of that we're young. So then he told me that, um, right then, then we were standing, he told me that he has a wife and kids. Some of his kids are even older than me. So then I wanted to know, I wanted him to explain because I was not interested in him. I just wanted to know what would be the reason for him to be want to be involved with gay kids because he has a family so then he, he said to me that um it happened once i when i don't know who they staying at a hostel and sleeping is together as a group of guys then and one night um there was a guy who was a gay but straight acting and then he did it there so then since he did it he couldn't um he couldn't help himself now it was a habit because he couldn't get out of this situation now so he got used to it and he did it and so that it was fun and enjoyable so then now he he found his wife boring because of tasting ass see what happens guys when straight people go to uh, sleep with gay people then they find themselves trapped so that's what happened to that older guy he found himself trapped but then i told him that i'm not interested he kept on stalking me 
um, up until I don't know why he stopped, but I saw him vanish because he kept on stalking me. I remember one day he even um, pitched at my place, and I was like, I, I had to lie and they asked him, I said, he's my uncle and i told him that i am in a relationship with someone and it's very serious so he could re he must not keep pitching up like this because i ended up blocking him on facebook and i told him straight that he must not stalk me so i was pissed off then huh, one of my exes told me that there's a club that is called factory in job where people um when you when you get in you must get in naked so it's sex and sex and i was like Hey, but who? What? A naked club? And I really wanted to see this thing with my own two eyes, but that meant I had to go there too and uh, be naked. And obviously, I was tempted and I end up having sex with this with a stray, complete stranger in a club, because they say that uh, when you get there, you take uh, all your clothes off, even your cell phones are not allowed. You leave them at the reception area. And then you go in there alone um, and then you meet other naked people there imagine guys a naked party every day every day every day i'm sure that place makes it you're know, hoping like it makes money money because gays and sex same whatsapp group yo guys i was like so 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 shocked with that so <laughs> i don't know anyone if you know watching this video and, and you know factory and you've been told to experience about it please just tell us more on the commenting box so thank you guys very much for watching this video and doing more videos so in my next video i'll be talking about how I got dumped because i couldn't come out of the closet so thank you so much guys for watching this video please do stay tuned because i will be uploading it very 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 soon lots and lots of love and remember to stay true to yourself logging up